So what's pissing me off now? My mic clip. If you ever wondered why don't I have just like a cool ass mic here facing me, is one, I move around a lot, which makes it hard to do that. And two, my computer is super loud because like I'm not rich, so like, my laptop is way better than my computer that I record on. Anyways, that's nothing and nothing and nothing and nothing. Okay, Bon Jovi, It's My Life with drumming cover. I'm intrigued by Faison. One of these days I'll have to put that in Google Translate to make sure I'm actually pronouncing it right. Well, then I would need to get it in the native language. Whatever. Um, I've never seen him doing the uh, lap steel version of playing. So that's cool. Excited about that. Uh, do I have anything to tell you? No, other than Americans are finally starting to lose their mind over coronavirus. It's happening. When I was in Zimbabwe five weeks ago, I told the American, I mean, I'm an American, but you know what I'm saying? Like I told the Americans, I was like, bruh, uh, in Asia, people were taking this shit seriously. And they were like, that's cause they're like in Asia. Well, it's been five weeks and now you guys get to freak out over here. By the way, Zimbabwe was amazing. I have not, not yet posted any uh, footage or videos from there where I was hanging out with rhinos and giraffes and baboons and hippos and shit. Did not see any lions or elephants, but I saw a lot of other dope stuff. Anyways, we're here to do guitar. I would do a guitar intro, but uh, I'm not going to, so. I can't even do the make fun of you. Da 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 da. How do you play that? I thought I knew. What does this sound right? However. Anyways, don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone I don't know how to go. Da 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 da. I mean, I can figure it out, but I'm not going to. Let's watch the dude go. Hold on. I've only seen one other video of his, but he did not have nails in that video. So I guess he changed. Wait. Oh, he hasn't decided on his nail size. This is a true thing. Because your picking hand, your digits are like longer. They're like, they're not this, all the same size, right? So he has no nail on his pinky because we don't really use the pinky. And it looks like he might have no nail on his index finger. But he's, and he's got decent nail on his middle and ring finger. It's, do we all go through this? If you play with nails, you will hate your nail lengths and you'll just mess with them constantly. Who's got an index finger nail? Huh. All right, so it looks like what he's doing, it's weird, like, it's like, I've never seen this before, but you're like, as you see it, you're like, oh, I think I get some stuff. I think primarily he's doing the melody on the third string, and even though he's tapping on the first string, it's kind of like a um, not really important supporting note. So a lot of the first and second string are open drones or pedal tones. You, I don't know if you want to call them a drone or a pedal tone. They're both stationary notes while other notes move around. So the primary motion is in the bass uh, and on the melody, which I believe looks like it's on the third string mostly.
Nice tap. You see, he just tap with his thumb. That's dope. I've only ever done that in two songs in my life. Uh, and it was not to show off. It's because my hands are small and I really couldn't reach a note. And so I used my thumb. Uh, when I did it, I'm not going to do my guitar differently, but it was this type of stationary thing. Right, and then the bass note goes down. But I couldn't reach down to one, so I used my thumb. Anyways, uh, but he's using it laying down, which is awesome. There's no reason not to use thumb. Cellists, cellists use their thumb all the time. So you gotta take from other instruments. Also, the reason why his okay, so he's primarily tapping with his index and second finger. So, like most all guitar players, our index fingers are our most dominant finger. Like most, if you if you take a, a beginner and you ask them to play guitar, they'll try to play every note with their index finger on the frets. So it's your dominant finger. So even if, when we're switching hands, when it's our right hand tapping, it's still our index finger is a dominant finger. So it hits a little harder than our second finger. Plus. Uh, He's, the melody is on the third string and the fourth string, uh, but those strings are also thicker in diameter. They're a higher gauge. Whichever you, you think they're they're a thicker string or they're a bigger gauge, both mean the same thing. And a bigger string, when you strike a bigger string, it makes more noise. So it's not really about his, his technique. It's just that when he's hitting the thicker strings, the volume from those strings is going to be louder. Therefore, his third and fourth strings are. Uh, very dominant sounding. Dominant not as in harmony, but dominant as in the volume level. Okay, now see when he's tapping with his right hand, what did he just do? It's really fast, but what do you do? He's primarily using his index and second finger on the uh, other hand, and oh, right there. Index finger only. So he's using a lot of dominant fingers, which makes sense. I mean, there's not, there's nothing weird about that, but it's just showing that like there is a methodology to whatever you're playing, you still want to play it the way that physiologically makes the most sense. And so he's using a lot of dominant fingers on both hands. In fact, I think his pink, his pinkies on both hands have done nothing. Which makes sense. Your pinky's short, it's a stupid digit. Uh, so we're really not using the pinkies at all, so we're already down to eight fingers. And he used the thumb on one hand, not using the thumb on the other. That's down to like seven fingers, so... I'm not sure he's using his thumb. I was about to say, I don't, I was about to say, I don't think he's actually using his thumb on that, on his right hand. What he's doing is he's bracing on the neck of the guitar, so he has more power to slam his fingers down with. A lot of times we do this on, um, on classical with your right hand, you'll hold your thumb against the bass string so you can pluck harder than like maybe if you're not holding your finger. But you hold your thumb, and now you can push. And I'm actually pushing against my thumb as a counterbalance uh, to my other digits. Hey, what's up, cat? You wanna come up here? Mad respect, something I didn't talk about earlier that I should. Hey, what's up, cat? No, no, we're a cat. Oh my god, we're back. Um, is mad respect for his tapping with the nails because 
This is one thing that does suck about nails when you want to tap. The most efficient way to tap with your finger is to like come straight down on the string. It's the same way when you're when you're fretting. The most efficient way to do it is to curve your fingers and come straight down on the strings. However, when you have a nail, do I have any way, way to show this? If you have a nail and you come down directly on your finger, there's like a millimeter gap. So if you actually want to tap with your finger, you have to tilt your finger almost like 45 degrees. So if you had no fingernail, you could just tap like this. But with, a, with, with having the fingernail, you have to tap to the side. So you don't have the clicks anymore. You got to get those clicks out of the way. I just, I just noticed he has like a ball and bracelet on his left hand. I like it. Well, that, of course, this is just for dramatic effect. But that was dope, though. I thought he did a, an excellent, an excellent job. I've never seen him play that style. Um, and that's a ridiculously different uh, way to approach guitar playing. That's one of the coolest things about... There's a, there's a couple of amazing things about guitar playing in general. One, the fact that so many people around the world play guitar. It's just nuts, right? Pretty much anywhere you go, people play guitar. Um, and then, you know... Also, how easy it is to transport it and affordable it is, right? Like, if you want to buy a trumpet or a euphonium or something or a nice violin, it's going to cost you thousands of dollars, but you can get a pretty decent guitar for, like, 75 bucks, and you can carry that shit with you, and, like, it can rain on you. So, like, it's cool that the guitar is everywhere and that people play it everywhere, and then the reason why they do that is because of number three, which is that... No matter which culture you're in, if it's Southeast Asian, Middle Eastern, uh, European, American, South American, we're all able to play the guitar in a way that um, embodies our nationalistic heritage. In other words, Americans play guitar in an American way. South Americans play in a different you know, way. Brazilians, you know what I'm saying? Um, Germans versus Italians versus Filipino versus Malaysians, Indonesians. Everyone has a way to play the guitar that is beautiful and it just it's it's just good for the instrument. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just good. It's it's amazing that we have um so many ways to create beautiful music for each other on an instrument we recognize. Now there's gorgeous music all around the world. There's we're, there's no question about that. But if you see an instrument you've never seen before, like if you're from America and you're looking at a koto in Japan or something, you're like, I don't really know how that works. But all of it, like a lot of us play guitar. So when you see a dude beating on a guitar in Indonesia, you're like, I have one of those. So you, it kind of makes more sense what he's doing. And you, you get to share more of the musical heritage together. Anyways, I love the guitar. I love watching great players play the guitar. It's just... It's awesome. It's awesome. Anyways, I enjoy sharing that with you guys. I think an Elip, Elip, Elip video will be next. Um, and then I will maybe do a Russian video. Privyet, my Russian comrades. But uh, until then, bye.